Hey, welcome back out to the new outdoor kitchen. Today, well, let me back up. If you guys have looked at any of my videos, if you watched any of them, you've seen where I've cooked tri-tip a couple of times. And on both occasions, it has been uh, kind of obvious to a few other people and now to me that I've been cooking it wrong. So today we're going to try tri-tip in a more traditional way using this variation on my uh, Santa Maria grip. Stick around. Got my coals good and hot. You saw me earlier, I'm doing the see how long you can keep your hand there trick. Apparently that's probably the best way to uh, gauge your heat up here. So keep it on there for about five or six seconds before you feel like, ouch, you gotta take it off. It's about where you want. You got this tri-tip from HEB. And it has nothing but salt, pepper, and parsley on it. That's it. We're going to cook it. It's going to be a lot of flipping it. It's going to be a lot of uh, moving it. It's going to be a lot of adjusting the fire. It's going to be a lot of adjusting the grade up and down. And when we get done, it's going to be a lot of good eating. And I do have people coming over here in, well, I don't know, about two hours, two and a half hours. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. I ain't worried. A tri-tip is going to be more of a go-to than I ever thought it was going to be. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. These sections down here, from here down and right through here, are going to cook a lot faster than this section through here. So me and my father-in-law, we're going to like this section right in here because it's going to be, when I'm done with it, it's going to be medium uh, medium rare to medium and then this section down here because it's thinner and it's going to cook faster is going to be medium to almost well done which is how my mother-in-law likes hers and then we'll have chicken because that's how crystal likes hers that's one of the reasons why this is so popular because you can get a variation of doneness in one cook without having different cooks going. I just made that up on my own. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm using Fogo lump for my charcoal, for my coal, lump hardwood coal, and uh, some pecan for the wood. And I also have a little bit of apple. I have some apple chunks left over. So I put those in there too, which means more than likely, I have already violated the covenant of tri-tip uh, preparation. So the high elders are probably going to kick me out anyway. I don't know. You tell me. Is it okay to use? Uh, is it okay to use fruit woods in with this and the pecan? I cook with pecan a lot, so I need to know. Is this okay? Y'all, y'all tell me. I'll tell you what we think about it when I'm done. But as much as I cook with pecan, I think it's going to be really, really good. So I had my grill raised up here, my grate. Raised up to about here for right at 10 minutes. Just trying to get a good smoke all on it and get it, uh, you know, just get it up to temp a little bit. Now we've got a pretty good, uh, we got a pretty good smoke on it. And I've had it down here close to the fire for about 15 minutes, real close to the fire. And yeah, we're starting to get a really nice char on there. It's starting to get real good. So we're going to do it on the other side here for just a few minutes. Try, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put these tips away from the heat and just put it right like that. And let's see what we've got here. So in the center, which is where we need to really get some more heat to it. Yeah, we got a long ways to go there in the center. Out here on the tips. We're at about 120, 119, 120. So it's got a little ways to go. This little tip right here is at, yeah, that's still pretty tough. One, 120 on both of the tips. So at least it's cooking real consistently. I need some more heat right here. I've got it right down on that fire. And we're getting a real good char on it. 
I need to get this side to where it's more like this side and then we can take it off let it rest and slice it up this one will slice this way to about here and then this side the grain runs like this so i'll have to figure that out i don't know i can see the grain on this side so i know i'll cut it this way and then right about here the grain's going to change and run this way so i'll slice it like this there we go got it now yeehaw i already cut this in half right here and then I went ahead and seared these two ends. But let's see what we end up with here. I don't know. Y'all are going to have to tell me what do you think about that. I will tell you that what I think about the doneness is I got it a little too done. Mm. but the taste is very good very juicy and it did not take very long to cook at all so let's see what happens when we get out here closer to this tip because that's a little this piece right here is a little too done for me and not quite done enough for my mother-in-law. Yeah, that's definitely gonna work. Then we come over here because this grain starts running the opposite direction. And we'll cut this off right here. And again, I'm gonna have to do a little more practicing with the height of my grate and the heat of my fire but i'm gonna say for the most part not too shabby with the way that it came out got a good char to it on both sides still got a little color on the inside We'll take it. So y'all let me know what you think. I'm not a native of the Golden State, so I don't know. I like the char on the outside. I like the doneness on the inside. But I'll rely on y'all's expertise. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I could do better. Let me know what I could do different. I don't know, God on a limb. Let me know what I did good. Love y'all for watching. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. And as always, y'all keep on smoking.